This is pre-calculus, topic four, and we are um, working on the practice assessment, and we're working on the last problems on the back. Uh, so we're in the section that is the solve the equation, round of three decimal places, and we're doing the, the bottom three. So as I uh, go to do these, I'm going to adjust it a little bit. As I go to these, uh, first one, I notice here this is in radians, so I'm going to make sure my calculator is in radians. And then I also know it has, it, notice it has this multiplier 2 pi. So my period is 2 pi divided by that multiplier 2 pi, 1. So I have a period of 1. <clears throat> so let me solve it. Subtract 1 from both sides. Um, 19 times cosine of 2 pi times x minus 0.2. Sorry about that equals 3, divide by 19, cosine of this uh, 2 pi times x minus 0 0.2 equals 3 nineteenths. And what I did here was I divided both sides by 19. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, uh, notice it's cosine of something, cosine of this equals that. So let me take inverse cosine of that. So arc cosine of 3 nineteenths. Do that on my calculator. Let's see, let's pick out about 1.412. And uh, to get the other value with it, this is cosine. Uh, cosine's width. So there's my 3 nineteenths. There's that's the angle I found right there, the 1.412 radians. There's another angle that has the same width, this one right here. So if I go um, 2 pi minus whatever that is, I get the other answer. So um, my two values of, uh, <clears throat> that would give me a, a cosine of 3 nineteenths would be 1.412. Let's see, 2 pi minus that, about 4.871. Now that's not x, that's what this is equal to. So I still have 2 pi uh, multiplied by x minus 0.2. So I'm going to divide everything by 2 pi. And if I do that, notice now I have x minus 0.2 equals these both divided by 2 pi. Um, 0.225. And 0 0.775. I got to add 0 0.2 now. And it looks like uh, 0 0.425 and 0 0.975. So there's my primaries. Uh, remember, my period is 1. So uh, I can start with these values. Um, add 1 and subtract 1 in, until I get out of this range from negative 1 to 2. So if I add 1 to each of these, if I add 1 to this one, that's 1.4, 1 uh, I notice that I wrote 9.75, it's 0.975. Add 1 again, uh, 1 1.975. Uh, if I add... One again to either of these will be past two. So I added one to there. So now I'm going to subtract one from each of them. If I subtract one from, from this uh, 0.975, I get negative 0 0.025. If I subtract one from that, I get negative 0.595. And if I subtract one anymore, I'll be outside the range. So there's all my answers for x. And notice I can take them, plug them back in. And they'll give me something close to 4. All right, next one. Check it out. I'm in radians, negative 4 to 4. And if I think about my period, um, 2 pi divided by pi over 2, that's 4. So actually, I have a period of, of 4 here. So um, shouldn't be getting too, shouldn't have too many answers. That's pretty big. So let me ask, uh, solve this. Notice it's 5 times times all that sine stuff. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5 first thing. So I have sine of uh, pi over 2 x plus 
equals four fifths. And uh, so notice it's sine of something equals that four fifths. So I need to figure out what that something is. So I'm going to arc sine four fifths. I'm in radians, so I'll make sure my calculator is in radians. If I do that, I get 0.927 about. And since it's sine, sine goes up. Notice it would be that angle and that angle. So I'm basically going to go pi minus that value to get my other one. Pi minus 0.927, about 2.214. Now those aren't my answers. Those are what this is equal to. So this pi over 2 times x plus 0.5 is equal to, it's not really exactly equal to, I'm going to say it's about, because I rounded, 0 0.927, 2.214. So first thing I need to do is uh, divide by pi over 2, which is the same as multiplying by 2 over pi. So I think I'll do that. So x plus 0.5. If I uh, multiply each of these by 2 over pi, in the first case, I get uh, 0 0.590. In the second case, I get 1.410. Looks like a 6, so let me uh, try and fix that. So it's actually a 0. Cool. Uh, subtract 0.5 from everything. So x is about 0 0.090. A 1.410 would be 0 0.910. So there's my primary uh, pieces. I noticed that my multiplier, I'm sorry, my period is 4. So 0 0.090, 0 0.910. If I add 4 to each of these, I'll be past 4. So I don't need to worry about that end. Um, but... I will subtract 4 from each of these. And, sorry, just want to erase that. If I subtract 4 from this one, I get negative 3.091. And if I subtract 3 from this one, I get negative uh, 3.91. And there's my answers. I could plug them back in to check them. All right, last one. Hey, it's in degrees. Great. So that means I don't have to worry too much about anything except setting my calculator right. Uh, if I think about the period, the period is going to be 360 divided by that multiplier, divided by a half. So dividing by a half is the same as doubling, so my period is 720 degrees. So let's solve this thing. Divide everything by 7. So I end up with cosine of 1 half theta equals 4 sevenths. And so cosine of this thing, oh, whoops. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. So cosine of this thing right here, that's what I meant to do, is 4 sevenths. So let me go arc cosine of four sevenths to get some values for what that could be. And uh, again, I'm in degrees, so I'm going to make sure I'm in degrees in my calculator. Uh, my first one is 55.150. And since this is cosine, I know that cosine is width like this, I could go 360 minus the value because I get that angle and that angle. Um, so if I go 360 minus 55.150, I get 304.85. Cool, so there's my values that are equal to one half of theta. So I'm going to multiply everything by 2 to get rid of that one half. So times 2 times 2. So by preliminary values, if I double both of those, would be 110.3. Uh, and uh, 609.7. I know it's round to three decimal places. Those are zeros. I'm just not going to write them. Um, but my period 720. So if I added 720s to these, I'd be past that top boundary. So I don't need to worry about that end. 
but I do. I'm going to subtract the 720. So seven, uh, 609. 0.7 minus 720 is uh, negative 110.3, 110.3 110 minus 720 is 609.7. These are all in degrees. These are my answers. Again, I can plug them back into my calculator and check them.